There you have it. It works. Uh, I don't have the uh, sound on right now. Let's see the change in the channel 820. I want to go to FM 90, 89.7. There we go. That's a good one. Uh, this thing is a, it's a really nice radio. But the issue was, uh, the reason I bought it, uh, I paid 50 bucks for the damn thing, the other one. And, uh, the issue was, was the original one that was in the truck had all this broke and you couldn't see anything. So you didn't know what channel you was on or anything like that. And when I bought the other one, I stuck it in here and it worked great for about three days. And uh, I disconnected the battery because, of course, you know, I'm still working on this truck. And, well, when I put the battery back together, it said lock. So I, I got on the GM board and went right straight to their link on how to unlock it. And I couldn't ever get it to go into to pushing these two buttons right here. Turn it on and then hold these two buttons, two and three, for 15 seconds didn't work and I never could get a code pulled on it. So I said, well, hell, I got two. I know the other one works. And every time I stuck the old one back in here, it just worked. No problems. And I've had the battery disconnected for uh, uh, about a couple months, really and truly. But I've been finishing the truck. And another thing that really irritates me and, and pisses me off is this. When I touch this dashboard right here, when I took it apart, it just exploded all of this broke so now i gotta find another one to fit this uh it's in good shape the only one i can find is one that's broke right here uh, uh but he wants too much money more for it. he wants uh 80 bucks uh, well it ain't worth that <laughs> it broke because <laughs> that tells me it's already when they're breaking right here it's already breaking so i might just get a custom fit uh, dashboard cover and put a piece of velcro right here and let it sit on top of it you know but there you go guys it works it works like a charm peace bye